Hello everybody. So since our first test run with the big DR SSTC, uh, we figured we had a problem with the uh, primary current not tripping the uh, protection circuit. And which led us to think that the aura current protection built into the IGPT bricks might play into this. So while we had the coil taken apart, I figured I would show you how it's built. <laughs> so this is the box itself. Uh, we might start with the IGPT bricks. We have these two large CM600 24FA bricks from Mitsubishi. We have two of them sitting here, connected in a full grid configuration. We have some heavy gauge 300 square millimeters bus bars. There is two uh, snobber caps, 2.0 microfarads. There is a total of 6,000 6, microfarads at 700 volt DC. And down here at the bottom is a three-phased rectifier bridge. This is all mounted on a large heat sink with a huge three-phased fan. It moves around 500 cubic meters of air power. Everything here is made in large copper bus bar, flexible, regular. Some of it had to be made in brass for some of the feed throughs. Also used here for the current transformers for sensing overcurrent and feedback. The uh, mini multi-capacitor set up the tank capacitor we have here. Consists of five, four microfarad, 3000 volt DTO snubber caps. The supply voltage comes from a 32 amp CE plug. There's also a MKP cap from uh, the negative rail to earth, the earth grounding bar, everything here is earthed, heat sink, secondary coil, all metallic components. On the outside here we can see the male plug which makes it easy to uh, use any standard cable to supply it. The driver itself is mounted inside a aluminium enclosure. And as you can see, it just consists of a mains filter for the supply of it. it has a small transformer. We have the single sided board. It's a Steve Ward Universal Driver 2.1 with face lead compensation. Here we have the primary coil on uh, its platform. This is made from 10 millimeter copper tubing. We have a ground rail surrounding the primary coil. The six wide feed throughs is for the primary tap coming from the base. And as you can see, this is mounted on a platform to gain some distance from the electronics, so not to overheated from induction heating from the primary coil but also to gain some overall height of the coil as it does make long sparks. Here at the ceiling is where we store the large top load as it is very voluminous. It is hard to, uh, to store anywhere where you do not risk damaging it. It is made from seven rings of one inch coaxial cable used for mobile antenna or other kind of uh, mast cable. It consists of a very thin sub one millimeter outer aluminum shell or shielding which we take use of here. Um, inside it is filled with a PE foam, a copper conductor and some optical wires but that doesn't really matter. We just use want to use the, the outer shell. 
we made a centerpiece here which holds together the six arms that we had water jetted which is from I think it is eight millimeter aluminium we really wanted to uh, fasten the cable with rivets but unfortunately the very thin shell or shielding was not uh, had, did not have enough mechanical strength to uh, keep the cable in place so we had to uh, zip tie it until we find a better solution the breakout point is this brass rod mounted on a hinge nothing too special but it does get the job done Thank you.